Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So there we go, we have the Greater Good trailer. But one of the most interesting things about that trailer is that there was no sign of the Death Guard, even though Death Guard got teased at going against Tau. I personally thought Death Guard were a nail on the head, but with the Imperium transmission at the start, could we be getting Imperial Guard instead of Death Guard? Anyway, let's jump in. Let's talk about it. Let's go through our hopes, dreams, everything that we expect coming um, in this next book, which is, of course, jumping out and hitting us in the face in February. At least the trailer confirmed two races, which are going to be dropping in the next book. Um, of course, the Tau, as you can see from their text, we offer only enlightenment. We are pioneers bringing superiority of our ways to the uncivilized. I wonder why everyone hates the Tau. Because they think they are bloody better than everyone. Damn, damn blueies. Now, of course, we know what the big model release is going to be for the greater good. And it is none other than the brand new Shadow Sun model. Again, it's in the background if you haven't seen it already. I'm sure everyone's seen it by now. Brand new looking model. It's on a, like an imperial kind of statue, and it's bringing all the Daka guns and yeah, as they do the fancy new models, which are just fancy. Do you know what? I'm actually thinking now, because Shadow Sun is on like an imperial Aquila. There was mention of uh, technically the Imperium in that trailer, and of course GC the Cultists they rise up from an imperial world. I'm actually thinking now. I wonder if they won't include the Death Guard in this codex. And maybe all this is based around Imperium, which has got obviously got to be um, uh, the Imperial Guard. So the Imperial Guard, um, Tau, and Genes of the Cults having a freeway fight over a planet. Um, that could be potentially pretty cool. But then again, what, what does that mean for the Death Guard? Because they were teased going against the Tau in the first story. So yeah, it, it, it kind of makes no sense. And especially so when... Um, the star side nexus if i'm not mistaken where they're all fighting that's where a massive death guard fleet appeared from and started to attack the fourth and fifth expansions of the tau forces so i am actually really left now rubbing my head in confusion of what the hell is going to actually be in this book and um, hopefully <laughs> we'll be finding it out throughout the week because what they normally do they normally put out these teaser trailers and then to build up the hype and stuff like that um, we'll start to see like articles dedicated to all the factions and you know some previews of traits and stuff. We've been we we've, we've been in this medical round before, haven't we? We all know what's uh, got, to, got, to, got to be coming in the next couple of weeks. But um, yeah, I'm actually my eyebrows are raised and I'm um, scratching my chin um, on what the hell the third faction could be: Death Guard or Imperial Guard. Just to confirm it, just to show it off in, um, in, in the video so people don't get confused. Um, Gene said, of course, are definitely going to be in this book. It says here, we are one people. It is our birthright to inherit this world from our oppressors. Of course, because they get within and they jump out your chest like it's a bloody Xenos out of Aliens or something like that. So that's what they do. They work their way into the government and then they start taking over from the inside. And before you know it, everyone has six arms. And it's raining Tyranids, and then everyone just dies for, you know, their insane views on how things should go in the galaxy. Purge the Xenos. Purge it, purge it all. I have two more little things I just want to talk about before we wrap up the video. Of course, one is release date. I don't think it's going to go on pre-order next weekend, um, because they've already announced the pre-orders. I think it's some Warcry stuff and everything like that. So um, that's going to obviously go on pre-order on a Saturday. So I don't see this. So maybe next Saturday. So on the Saturday the 8th of um february uh hopefully is is the pre-order day and um one week after that is of course the 15th of february for release so that kind of makes sense you know in the middle of the month and they can put something either side of that for you to you know buy either 40k or aos that's what they tend to do they don't tend to stack it all on like one day because you know people buy certain things with their money and they want to spread it out so you spend more on their products of course business now the last thing i want to talk about is um the narrative stuff in the psychic awakening and um, of course we haven't seen this one yet but i'm just going off some of the stuff that they've done already there's really no winners everything's at stalemate and i've got to say gw i really wish there would be winners i don't care if the imperium loses i'm a massive imperium fanboy but i think there's there's been so much emphasis and so much hype about the psychic awakening and 
all the stories have just been like like there's been action in the stories. I'm I'm not doubting that, but the end results it's 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 all about the stalemates. It's like come on now, let one faction win something, or you know a couple of factions win and push the ground and conquer, kill and stuff like that. I can understand about characters not dying and stuff because of course people buy characters as models and everything like that, and um, you know that could be kind kind of risky when it comes to the sales. But but the narrative wise. You know, give orcs like a planet or like Armageddon. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Give orcs Armageddon back. It is all annoying. It is their home world. It's basically their terror. Let them conquer it. You know, maybe the gene stealers, um, sort of the gene stealer cultists in in, in this book, um, win. They take over the planet. You know, they butcher the 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 Tau and whoever the third faction is. You know, I'd love something like that. You know, give the Xenos the upper hand. Give chaos the uh, chaos the upper hand in some of the in some of the battles and stuff like that. It, it just seems. The narrative has been very, very plain. It's not been exciting. Um, some people even say it's been absolutely crap. Um, and, you know, right in some areas it has. It, it hasn't been it hasn't been fun at all. So I really, really hope um, that this book changes it. But, I'm, you know, it's I, I think this has all, already been pre-written. So I, I, I don't see anything changing um, um, or going off course what we've already had, really. I think it's just going to be... Just a just a standstill, and these books are just more for buffing your armies, getting the rules, new stratagems, um, maybe new doctrines. Well, not new doctrines, but you know what I mean. Stuff like doctrines for your armies and everything like that. But then again, um, there's, there's real no point theorising about all that. I'm sure they'll be showing it off very, very soon. All right, Chaperoneos, that is me done for another video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, as always. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback on what the hell that trailer meant. Do you think Imperium is going to be nudging the Death Guard out and it could be the Imperial Guard, Gene Stealers and Tau fighting it off? Or do you think the Death Guard are just going to come in and just go, yeah, for Nurgle, and just spew up all over the place and purge in the grandfather's name? Let me know and we'll have a nice little discussion in the comment section down below. See you now, have a great night and bye-bye.